The use of the internet by terrorists is on the increase. It appears terrorist groups are increasingly turning to Twitter to reach out to followers and spread their influence. When Al-Qaeda leaders in far-flung corners of the earth need to talk with each other, they don't pick up the phone. Security analysts say they jump onto the internet using a complicated chain of computer connections. Although no one knows for sure, this is how they believe it works. The parties meet in a private internet chat room, shrouding their written communications with each other in encryption software. And minutes later, the whole trail disappears. Some security analysts say this combination of technology, social media sites, and internet anonymity is the backbone of terrorist communications. And Leith al Khoury with Flashpoint Global Partners says it works remarkably well. There are some very sophisticated people who work for governments, criminal organizations, syndicates, terrorist organizations that have exceptional skills that aren't just creating websites and uploading videos. The University of San Diego's Transborder Institute's new report found cross-border arms trafficking is worse than previously thought. Putting arms in the hands of child soldiers from North Africa to the Middle East to Burma. Repressive leaders can pump out as many bullets as possible and kill over a thousand people in a single day.